the comic book collector in me has been very excited about Mini Bigs' new releases. The Daredevil is a little bit older, came in red, dark red, some other fun colors, but this new Mole Man is where I'm really excited, giving us my first new Fantastic Four villain, other than Doctor Doom and I guess the Maker. But very excited to check this out, like I said, from Mini Bigs. I also got a free sticker in my order, but let's go ahead and toss these on the scan. Starting with Daredevil, since he is the more simple minifigure out of the two of them. I picked the dark red version just because I felt like this represented the classic comics a little bit better and having the bright red printing on the red just feels like it would have been a little too much. The dark red here just gives more contrast and more interesting levels of detailing to the minifigure because of it. Something interesting to point out is that the muscle definition here on the abs and just front torso is based off of the Riddler minifigure from the original Batman line. So this would probably fit in the aesthetic of that era of LEGO superheroes minifigures. On the back, you know, you just get a simple belt wrap around with black outline. No muscles on the back, which is a bit interesting since they did already print with black on the back. So it wouldn't have added an extra plate and they already did that on the front too. So weird to see that in discrepancy, but is what it is, I guess. I do really like the DD logo there. This is definitely based off of the John Romina Sr. art from the 60s, which will not match what LEGO has done with the more modern take on the character. And another quick side-by-side -side with the version based off of the video game from MRM. So you can see there are some differences to this one where this is a lot more detailed even with more intricate D design. But I feel like these definitely are going to fit in different aesthetics, and I could definitely see somebody wanting one or the other. I think the face on this one's a little less cool than this one, which has that nice classic comics shadow, which again, very typical of both Ramita's drawings of Daredevil, if I'm being honest. Trying to get some of the lighting out of the way so you can see the horns on the head a little bit better. Maybe it would be better if I just do this. There are two little black triangles to give his horns some definition and some shaping. Very fun to see that at the top of the head. So you rotating, you can see it a little bit better. There's a little bit of that lighter red for the eyes on his face. And I do think the expression here in the mouth looks pretty good and would definitely fit in that 2006 Spider-Man as well as Batman line, like I kind of mentioned. But I also feel like this could definitely fit in a more modern display since there's not really any reason why it couldn't um, for these comic Marvel minifigures that Lego ends up doing. They don't have a crazy amount of detailing, especially for these more spandex suit type characters. What else could you ask for? I guess some accessories like the Billy Clubs that I showed off on the official one. I guess I'll toss those on quick, which of course will look just as good on this version of the character as well. Very fun way to add something cool to your display. I know I have more premium Daredevil minifigures that I could use the more detailed batons, but this is very classic Lego to me and definitely ties the character all together and makes it kind of the most fun comic accurate version that you can get. So I definitely recommend this from Minipigs and let's jump into Mole Man, who is also going to be a very simple comic design, but does have some fun printing with wraparound boot or shoe printing, whatever you'd want to call that on the brighter green torso and legs out here. You get the stomach, some other torso lines to give him more shape. Nothing on the back again, which is interesting. I guess saving some costs there. I feel like for Daredevil, it's a little less acceptable where you probably could have reused muscle lines on multiple superhero minifigures he might make, but I get it, I get it. One thing I want to point out though is this face is very, very similar to the one that is on the DC Flash villain Captain Cold that Lego has made, especially in the mouth, where this one's a little bit less wide, I would say. Other than that, it is pretty much similar, the mouth shapes. Uh, their colors are a lot brighter or lighter on the custom version, obviously, but I guess if you really wanted to, you could use either side of this head to change up the expression on this character for pictures or any other animations. That you might want to use this for. And of course this head is not going to have that extra expression, so you're going to be stuck with him being angry, which I guess as a supervillain in the comics would be pretty typical for him. 
But that's not all. There's also the custom cape, so let's toss that on, which is a bit thicker than the normal Lego fabric cape, especially with the two different fabric pieces stacked on top of each other. Definitely adds a lot of extra height to the neck there, which might throw off the look a little bit. And the cape was not really modified to account for the minifigure's height since it does have these shorter legs, so barely touches the ground behind him as well. I guess I would have liked it to have been a little bit shorter to account for the shorter legs um, as well. You know, it's a different color. I feel like that definitely works in the favor of the design to give it more variety in the color instead of all just being one solid green, which would also probably be pretty consistent with his appearances in the comics. And he also just comes with whatever walking stick staff that he has. Don't think it really gives him any powers, but I guess would help him lead the Moloids in battle if he really wanted to. Uh, one of the goofier villains of the Fantastic Four, for sure, but one of their first, so it's good to get him in minifigure form. Even if, you know, I just have my custom Fantastic Four, I'd love to see the official ones, which are rumored to come out next year, this year. So that's exciting to look forward to. Another great custom minifigure, especially in the superhero line by Minibigs. And of course, let's get to the final comparisons and the final verdict. If you're familiar with my videos, you would know I'm much more of a comic Marvel fan. That's what I end up collecting. So both minifigures here are going to be easy pickups for me. And of course, I'm going to appreciate having them in my collection. Mole Man especially, just having more minifigures for the Fantastic Four collection are great. I do have the abnormal Fantastic Four team basically pre-ordered. Didn't get the unflamed up Johnny Storm. Didn't feel like I needed him, but got everybody else. I guess I skipped the Bake Man too, since I did already have him. Obviously, you know, we got some Multiverse Elseworld type minifigures with the Maker. Just reviewed him recently, but classic comic villains is what I'm kind of interested in. Uh, didn't have enough room for him on the stand. I also got the Ronin and the Accuser, so that's another good setup there. Uh, other than Mole Man and Doctor Doom, Still a couple more people I'd be interested in. I definitely want the Trapster or Paste Pot Pete just for being a bit of a meme character. Definitely love him and would be able to kind of complete some version of the Frightful Four for me. Otherwise, Wizard and a whole bunch more. I can't really think of them right now. Of course, some of the more cosmic characters like Annihilus did pick up Galactus. So got to get that review out eventually. For Daredevil, I'm kind of surprised that I have so many different versions of him. Dark Ride, like I said much better color choice than getting the red on red, which does work in some cases since that is pretty typical for him. The shading on this minifigure is great though, definitely calls back to a lot of those classic appearances. And the dark red definitely calls back to the Netflix type suits that he's had, where it ends up being a little bit more grittier, a little more realistic. Obviously this does end up being a lot more of that normal bodysuit classic comic look, but appreciate the design. They did a great job. Fits into the rest of my Daredevil Marvel Knights type minifigure setup will fit perfectly with the SJ Bricks bullseye that I also have. Need an Electra of some sort, I guess, to kind of finish up that trio of main Daredevil characters. Maybe even, a, I just need a Punisher, mostly the Netflix version. I do have the normal Lego one, which I feel like is a pretty good design. But we're coming all together here with my Marvel Comics minifigures. And I love to see people keep putting those out, and especially when they look this good. If you want to see more LEGO Marvel, or more specifically, custom LEGO Marvel videos, check out all the content on my channel. I have been Brick Radiop, and I will see you in the next video.